Guys, be honest, I'm probably not going to bash Gypsy. Ever since Gypsy Rose Blanchard's estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, joined TikTok, everyone has been waiting for Ryan to spill the tea on their relationship and why they're really getting a divorce. Ryan's posted a series of videos on TikTok. In one, he states that we're going to have to watch the Lifetime show to see what really happened. And in his most recent and newest video, he talks about how he's noticed negative comments and he's not going to disrespect Gypsy. Listen to this. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. Uh, just wanted to say a couple things. I'm sitting around watching some NBA basketball. Got my Akeem Olajuwon jersey on, my old school Rockets jersey. That was my favorite team growing up. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, the the support and positivity, positivity I get from my videos is unbelievable. I get a lot of positive, uplifting messages, and I love the hashtag Team Ryan. That's just unbelievable to me. So just want to tell you guys thanks again, but also I've noticed a couple things in my videos too. Um, guys, be honest, I'm probably not going to bash Gypsy. Um, I'm just not going to do it. I, I'm not a negative person. Uh, I will tell my side of the story. You know, that part is important to me. I will be factual. I will tell the truth. But as far as being disrespectful, I just don't know if I could do that. Um, you know, I, that was my wife. You know, I'm just not gonna, not just gonna be mean to be mean. Uh, and I've noticed in y'all's comments, y'all have been, uh, there's been a couple of mean comments. Um, you know, I'm just not gonna do it. And, uh, just want to tell y'all, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do, but, um, I will tell my side, but as far as just being disrespectful to her, I, I just can't do it guys. But, uh, anyway, thanks again for the support and, uh, y'all have a great night. Now, although Ryan says he's not going to be disrespectful, he is saying that he will tell his side of the story and be factual. And you know what? I'm sure when Ryan finally does tell his story, that he can tell it in a way that he's not being disrespectful, but is also going to shed light on the truth and what really happened, even though Gypsy was out in these streets trying to slander him left, right, and center on every little detail and thing that bothered her in their marriage. Gypsy has gone from the reason for their separation was because of Ryan's constant guilt trips and the arguments that they got into to Ryan hoarded food and kept containers of leftovers in their fridge and that reminded her of her mother so she didn't like that. That Ryan was too hot at night and she liked sleeping in a cool bed and then there's the blowout fight that supposedly happened where Gypsy locked herself in a bathroom and she was afraid Ryan was going to hit her. I feel like with or without Ryan's story, Gypsy already did a really good job of making herself look bad. And at the same time, it's kind of like, what did Ryan expect? Because they filmed that Lifetime show and it was very clear then that Gypsy was not over Ken. Ask Ryan, I have always had a difficulty letting go of my ex-fiance, Ken. We were so connected at one time. It felt like he was a soulmate. And I think it started to wear on Ken the amount of time that I had to do in prison and the stress of, of who I am as Gypsy Blanchard. He ended the relationship. It was devastating to me. They talked about how before they got married, Gypsy called Ryan and told Ryan that she had called Ken because she had a dream that she left Ryan for Ken. When's the last time you talked to him? Oh, it's been so long. Months. That makes you a liar. The whole situation with Ken being spotted out in public with him, what, like four days after she announced her separation, and then trying to tell everyone that they were just friends, only to later reveal that they're now in a relationship, and Gypsy says that Ken is her soulmate. You come out of prison, you were married, you're now going through a divorce, and you have found love again with someone from your past. What's the secret to keeping that flame alive? Um, he's actually going to be moving to Louisiana to be closer to me, so... 
So you're moving quick. I, I wouldn't say quick. Uh, with our history, I think that we've always had a very close connection. Mm. Um, having that foundation has been essential to our reconnection. Mm. And we're just, we're hopeful for what our future has in store. Um, you know, I know that I'm going through a difficult time right now. Um, and so I, I just really am doing the best I can with moving forward with my life. Do you feel like this is the one? This is the person for you that you were always meant to be with? I do. I've always said Ken was like my soulmate. So. Yeah. But I don't want to move too fast because, okay. you know, I want to pace myself. I don't want to put expectations and make things too heavy. Yeah. Um, so we're just basically enjoying our time together and, you know, hopeful for what the future has. Obviously did not pan over well for her. Also, I would like to point out that there are more people involved in this story. So although Ryan says he's not going to be disrespectful to Gypsy, there are other family members that are in the picture that may or may not have had influence on their marriage and their relationship. Because if we remember, one of the reasons that Gypsy says they argued was because Ryan was jealous over Gypsy wanting to spend time with her father, Rob. We also know that Ken reached out to Christy, Gypsy's stepmother, to talk to her about what the reason he broke it off with Gypsy was while she was still incarcerated from back when they were together. It's actually funny that you mentioned that because, um, you know, being open and honest, um, the day that I got out of prison, Ken texted my stepmom and Ooh, was like, like, hey, what's all. up? Stop. And she told, yeah, she told me about yeah. it and I'm like, Oh, so now he wants to come around. No. And so I told Ryan about it. I was yeah. open and I'm like, you know, he's sniffing around. Why do you think he decided it's time to pop back up? Um, Because I think now I'm free and I, I don't think that he has respect for my marriage. Now, whether Ken watched the Lifetime show and thought that he genuinely wanted to reach out to Christy to clear the air about why he and Gypsy separated, it opened the door for him to have a direct line of communication to Gypsy through Christy. And the second that there was a crack or a slip in Gypsy and Ryan's relationship, Ken already had his foot in the door. So although Ryan says, hey, I'm not going to say things about Gypsy, I think there's a lot more to the story than anyone realizes. And after that show airs, I think it's going to be game on. Now, the new Lifetime show is set to air on June 3rd. I'm going to have a watch party over on my TikTok account. So if you haven't already, go over and give me a follow. And let me know what you guys think. Do you think Ryan is going to spill some tea while also being respectful to Gypsy? And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you could, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys on the next one.